Okay, I've got here um, a short video of some work um, I was doing in industry. I um, thought uh, it would make a good um, video to put on the Weebly um, SolidWorks Tutor um, tutorial site. Um, and I've got here a pulley on a pin and it has um, a parallel mate and a, a concentric mate. Um, and what I'm looking to do um, with this part is um, assemble the pulley at the centre of the, the fork. And there's a couple of ways we can we can do this. So we're using mates. Uh, this is SolidWorks assembly. And if we um, uh, if we wanted, we could use a distance mate, but we don't really know the distance. So if we look in the advanced mates, we've got uh, two that we could choose from. The first one is uh, the width mate, which is really useful. Um, we need to make four selections, um, uh, uh, width selections, and then tab selections. So I've picked the two um, edges or faces of the fork and the two faces of the pulley, and SolidWorks has found uh, an equal distance on each side. I've got I've got the middle of the fork. It's a good it's a good mate, but there's um, potentially a better one if the pulley model has been produced um, with some good thought um, towards the assembly. Um, so if we delete that uh, that width mate out, and if we look at the pulley, we'll uh, we'll see that it's been modelled with a plane at the centre of the pulley. So we can reduce the number of selections we need uh, using the symmetry mate. The uh, plane of symmetry is the plane going through the centre of the pulley. So I'm selecting that in the feature tree. And then the mate uh, selections are going to be the inside faces um, of the fork. Now the the plane in the pulley is unlikely to change. It's, it's potentially a, a more solid mate um, to use in this situation. But uh, both mates give you um, the same the same result. Um, if you change the faces or change too much, you, your mates can always fall over, but symmetry in this case better.